I want to introduce Geraldine before she uh, presents. So Geraldine, uh, like a lot of people working with horses, she has a passion for them, and she's working in the medical sector because of her. In but because of her interest in horses, she became interested in equine dentistry. She started to study to become a horse dentist and quickly became interested in horse bits. She got in touch with pioneers of bit and bridle fitting in Europe, which led her to managing the, uh, her own company, Equibit Fit, for more than 12 years. Equibit Fit offers bit and bridle consultations and also training courses in Belgium, France, and the Netherlands. And for, for several years, um, IF3E, I don't know what that stands for, but Geraldine probably will tell us, it's a school for becoming an equine bit fitter. And so Geraldine is going to talk to us about why measuring pressure on the pole is so important for bit and bridle fitting. Uh, thank you to invite me for this short presentation. So uh, indeed, why is this measuring pressure on the pole so important for bit and bridle fitting? Um, if we are looking on the action of the bit and the bridle, uh, first on the skull uh, of the horse, we see a lot of pressure on the nose, on the mandibula, on the foramens, on the TMG, but also on the pole. If we have a look from inside with the bit, um, then we see that we have pressure points due to the bit, the tongue of the horse, on the bars, on the lips, and on the pellet. So there are a lot of studies uh, we can find about studies about the bits, the action of the bits, the position of the bits in the horse mouth and so on. About nose bend, nose bend tightness, uh, the kind of nose bend and so on, about rain tensions, but less about pole pressure and about also uh, the influence of the headpiece of the bridle on the whole biomechanics of the horses. So if you are looking on this picture, we were um, do some measurements and we put a saddle map um, so to uh, with the pressure on, under the saddle. Uh, we had a look, we filmed everything and we had so pressure maps under the headpiece of the horse and rain tension system. If we have a, a closer look by ridden horses, we can find with the horses a lot of pole tension, a lot of tension on the knuckle ligament, a lot of sensitivity around the ears. And we find this back with by horses ridden with uh, shanks bits, but also with snaffle bits, and also while riding with uh, bitless bridles. So it's not only for horses ridden by bits. And also, if we take a closer look, we uh, can see that a lot of head pieces are not okay. They are not fitted, uh, the shape is not okay, and we can only see there is a lot of pressure on the on the ears of the horse and on the pole. So, how we will take measurement, we put pressure mats under the headpiece of the bridles, uh, one on the left side, one on the right side. But we can also put the pressure map uh, under the whole headpiece. And uh, we take videos of everything, and uh, so we can see also pain and discomfort signs by the ridden horses. And as a conclusion of uh, um, these small studies, we clearly see high pressure if the head piece has a bad design, less padding, too tight a nose bend. There is a link between uh, the tightness of the nose bend, the kind of nose bend, and the lot of pressure or less pressure on the pole, and also with poor saddle fitting. There is, of course, much more research to do in the future about it. Thank you for your attention. I don't know if you have questions. Can I ask a question? Thank you, Geraldine. That, that was really interesting. What do you think is the link between poor saddle fit and high levels of pressure at the pole? 
Have you any reason that you can think of for that association? Yes, when we took the measurement, uh, when you have more pressure uh, points under the saddle and maybe on one side of the saddle, it can be due to the rider, but also to the poor saddle fitting or yes, you know, all the problem with saddle fitting, also asymmetry of the horse, but to find it back on the same size uh, side of the head of the horse. So it's linked. Thank you. That's really interesting. Thank you, Geraldine. Michelle, Jean, I have a, a question. Um, I'm just wondering, this is this is what you do, right? You go and you um, look at or do bit fitting and, and you can use these various tools to help you. I'm curious how your clients view that. Are they very interested in seeing the science, looking at the pressure mats and the, the readings that you're getting from the horse's pole or the horse's back? Uh, do they understand? Um, they want more? What is your sense? They are much more interested in about pressure maths than about uh, rent tension because there are, most of them are afraid about rent tension measurements. Uh, they say, oh, what do you, will you think about me of, uh, oh, I'm riding and uh, not so afraid about pressure maths. That's a conclusion. Interesting. Very good. Any other questions for Geraldine? Yes, may I have a question? Go ahead. Uh, did you ever measure how big difference is uh, in between uh, the uh, bits, uh, snuffle bits, and the uh, bits with uh, leverage? Because if you use uh, bits with leverage, definitely there is much more tension on the pole than in the snuffle or uh, just uh, other kind of the bits. Am I right? Yes, of course, absolutely. Um, but I took also measurements uh, with snaffles and um, without noseband and just a strap headpiece and without uh, a lot of tension on the rein, so uh, even without tension. And then we see also peaks of pressure when the horse is uh, doing trot or canter. So we have also the influence of the movement of the horse, and that's also interesting, but a lot of people think, yes, I have, I have really light hands, but we have also the action of the horse himself. So it's a little bit about physics. And uh, so that's really important also to see uh, when we put a headpiece with padding, we see that the peaks are reduced and it's more comfortable for the horse. And of course, when we have, um, like Waymo's and leverage bit, we have a lot of pressure on the pole. Yes, definitely. Thank you very much. Thanks. We have time for just one more question. Um, and there is a, I know there's a couple in the chat, but the one question uh, from Leanne, are any of the people who saw your study or, or who are aware of what you're looking at, Geraldine, are they becoming more interested in going bitless? Mm, no, not of the time. And uh, we have also to be aware that also bitless bridle can give um, pressure on the pole. So that's something also really interesting to know. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Geraldine. That was very interesting. Mm -hmm.